How are you guys doing? It's hey been guys. So long. Yes, we're back. It's been so long. Yes. Yeah, we are actually. I thought I heard something. What? I thought I heard something. Alright, keep going, keep going. Okay. But that kind of coincides. I think I'm hearing something. I feel like I'm hearing something. Every five seconds I'm hearing something. What are you hearing? I need to go off and do exactly what the people in the Nun did. Because every five seconds. Okay, well we're here we're going to be this... Guys, we are here. We're going to be discussing the nun. The nun. The nun, the nun, the nun. And what excitement was it was. <laughs> and you can tell that we're totally, <sighs> totally excited to talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Man, it's, it's so much to go into with this movie. I was expecting it to be the boss. I expected it to be the best of the best. wasn't had enough it just wasn't had enough none basically it's what is it about though it, it's about it's supposed to be i guess an origin story of yeah, her it's, mythology it's, um and i guess they put that together mm. it's just basically about a convent being not on holy ground because of a demonic spirit and uh that there was this the pastor nun. and and this not so nun Type she she hasn't female. taken yeah she hasn't taken her vows yeah yet. she did not take her yeah. vows yet but she went anyway and they were going to investigate the suicide of a, a nun that died and a very worthless character the nun and yeah, Frenchy but anyway let's go into the good geek bad geek about this all right so for my good geek um, I had such high hopes and there's just not a lot to talk about so Valak looked cool okay. So the scenes with the white nuns, um, it reminds me actually of Silent Hill, the first movie with the mm. nurses. Oh, okay. And I kind of thought that that was creepy mm -hmm. um, and I was waiting for them to attack Tr Frenchie. Mm. Um, so I kind of did like that even though it, was, it wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but if I'm gonna say that that was good about the movie, yes. So the creaking sound. I have a thing for sounds, so if it's remotely like weird or whatever or remotely like uh uh then yeah so i like the creaking sounds mm. of of the possessed or supposedly possessed or the ghost nuns or whatever what? and that's it that's it i thought it was gonna be scary it wasn't so my bad geek there are many i will keep it short sweet why was French a character? Yes, I guess he was in The Conjuring, uh, one of the beginnings of the club. Well, I do get that, uh, but they could have just as easily used the nun figure, the, the girl who hadn't <laughs> taken her vows yet, mm -hmm. to be that person. He did not need to be there, and to me he was a waste of space and character. I, I felt like I could have built the cemetery in my own backyard and made it scarier. Like I really was just expecting to see the green screen, soundstage, whatever. That cemetery sucked. I hated it. I did not feel any foreboding whatsoever. So I know at the beginning I was being real stupid, like acting like I was trying to, to you know, follow, follow anything. Like but I really was like honing in on my frustration on the fact that these characters with every single thing they were going off to follow. And I'm like, if that ain't one of the biggest horror tropes that is shamelessly used, I, 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 I don't get it. Like every single thing, and you know it was gonna be in peril. You knew that it was gonna be in peril. You just wanted to scream at them like, like stop, don't, no, they gonna follow it. Every, every single thing. 
So it was annoying to see. So lastly, the the mythology of the nun, right? It was really shallow. First of all, I I expected it fully to be about a person that was going to be either taken over or even like they were this high holy person and maybe they did something really really terrible and that turned them bad and maybe even turned them demonic or whatever the case may be it was such a cop-out and a waste of an opportunity to say oh some guy in the medieval times wanted to conjure up a demon and therefore they conjured up the essence of a demon and oh oh wait a minute we have jesus blood somewhere and all of a sudden jesus blood can kill this demon which of course it should but i'm just saying like I, I I was I was so underwhelmed by what was supposed to be a mythology of a really interesting character and probably a very scary character and it was just a complete waste. I felt like all the characters honestly were completely wasted of their potential, but most of all was Tessa the nun because I felt like if anything she should have been taken over and she wasn't. And like you don't even know if she actually really stayed a nun because the last scene she was in regular clothes. I was underwhelmed. Let, let's just say this first of all, when the uh, the nun trailer came out, I was scared. I was, I was expecting something. I was scared. Really, y'all can crazy see it. And um, something that would actually bring me closer to the Conjuring. Okay. Um, and it, it didn't. It didn't because this character was my favorite character mm. out of all the monsters that was in the Conjuring series. I'm going to go into my good geek, bad geek about this. Okay. First thing first, let's just I top pop. it off with my good geek. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I find good with this movie was the fact that the, the tone of the movie was good. I like that dark tone. It had this dark scary tone and I, I tell you when I went to the cinema to watch it it was like me and two other persons that was mm -hmm. in the cinema <laughs> so I was like oh shit oh shit okay now my bad geek oh, wait I'm sorry you just said one good geek that was it yeah yeah I'm not surprised so my bad geek about this movie the first one <laughs> you make it sound like you got a whole laundry list let's go but Go for it. first, the first thing, the to me, I think the movie wasn't an origin movie. I was thinking of the nun to be placed in a like an orphanage or probably a nun convent mm. where something kind of triggered off this demon that is not necessarily a, a, a nun, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. but it ended up within the 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 the, 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 the young nun that was in and out of her nun, nun, nunification. <laughs> the second one was basically the backstory was just weak. I, I, I didn't like the backstory. I, I don't see the reason why, you know, everything was just surrounded by this nun that was, that had evil spirits or evil possession. And where, where what is the origin of that specific um, uh, a demon? I don't get it. Agreed. I don't get Definitely. it. Definitely. You know, because basically I'm, I'm thinking of going back, 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 back of how the origin of this demon um, came about to be the nun. Um, third, the movie just didn't seem organic. It didn't seem Hustle. natural. It, it to me, I think it was basically most mostly focused on jump scares, getting your ass scared put in the nun faces and faces mm -hmm. so you can be scared. Mm -hmm. There wasn't anything that kind of, you know, have me hold on to something that will say, okay, well, this is how the nun end up in the conjuring. Oh, yep. okay. Yep. And you know, it, it wasn't nothing. There was nothing about it that actually graveled me. Fourth one, um, I didn't see the purpose of the huge fucking castle. I, Okay, but the castle, really? I, I just see it as something to help you get scared. Or well, Ghost was telling them. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, come on. It, it could. The main focus was basically supposed to be the nun. Absolutely. It was supposed to be the freaking castle. It, it's just the, the mm, castle. It's like they it's, use the castle. It was castle. more of a character than even yeah, a nun. It's yes, like the castle agreed. is more used that well. Yeah. Okay, damn. 
how the hell they be in this castle and the fact that you know when they, when the nun and the priest uh, went into the castle in the first place they, they it, it seemed like no one was there and then the following morning there was a lot of nuns there I was like what <laughs> fifth um, and you said it earlier I don't I, I don't I, I hate when in a in a in a horror movie when the character you know probably see something that probably represent or looks like someone that they knew in the past like the person died okay you see something that looks like the person why are you going after it you know why are you i don't get it the, it, the, the it felt pastor, like every five minutes yeah, they were the they were pastor, doing something yeah the pastor knew that the kid died why are you going after the talk about why it are you going after the fucking talk kid? about it talk about it why are you going after the kid? So My sixth. <laughs> I think that the whole entire movie was just based upon jump scare, you know, it, and and that's one of the reasons why it didn't it didn't frighten me that much, you know. The only thing that probably grappled me was uh, was the tone of the movie, mm -hmm. and that was it. Mm -hmm. Everything else was just lame. Everything was dumb. Everything was stupid. The, 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 probably the sound was good, but the acting was was dumb. Mm -hmm. Everything just was, was adding weak. up. Everything was it. It was just a down ass movie, and I, trust me, I I hated everything about it. <laughs> everything. Thank you. You're welcome. So you said something, and I forgot what you said but i remember what how i reacted to it i think that what they're gonna do is make an origin story of the origin story of the nun like they did it with annabelle and actually annabelle the the came origins good. yeah the origin story of annabelle came out really really good and i think maybe they might do that because i feel like just, the way that they just... ended there's not room for a sequel really mm. you know and so like I think that they might be going backwards. What I what I what I personally think, and I said it in my in my in my bad gig. I mm. really think that they should have based everything probably in an orphanage, make yeah. it in an orphanage yeah. where, or even a non convent, a little small non convent in one of those English um, countryside type of thing, you know, and and give it some balance where the nun the the the, the, the nun who is like. All innocent and everything end up being the nun in the end of the movie. You know I, I, mean? I, I, I do agree with you. Um, I, I feel up and down about the convent mm -hmm. because I feel like that big old like castle gave it its dark tone that you liked and that I wasn't, you know, that I that I was okay with. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that again, the bigger picture to me would have been if they if it was about an actual person who became the nun mm -hmm. and not about a demonic spirit who um just escaped out of hell and then i guess became a nun because there was nuns there after the crusaders like yeah. sealed it like yeah. it didn't even it didn't even really didn't. say that and i think mm -hmm. that i guess you're supposed to figure that out so that's mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. but um i think looking at annabelle and looking at um the conjuring series you already have demons already i would have loved to have seen a real person become the nun, the nun. entity exactly so it wouldn't actually have matter had it been in the convent um orphanage because if that would have happened i would have been okay with it but because they went the way they went I am okay with what you're saying that mm -hmm. could have been somewhere else. Yeah, and another thing that bothered me about the movie was the fact that the priest who just started doing this wild goose chaser for this little boy ended up in a coffin, in a grave, and the grave was covered. I'm like, how? Why? It, it, it just <laughs> don't make no fucking sense. Why? How? I, I was when that scene happened. I was like. You deserve it. You deserve it. Did the nun like had a shovel and listen, did all of that? Listen, listen, I don't, I don't listen. get that part. That is just how I feel about the entire movie. It's stupid. It is dumb. <laughs> Please I don't see just, it. Just I think just wait, Lynn, wait for it for DVR. I think or Justin whatever. Lin was was a producer of it. I'm, I'm very disappointed, Justin. Lin. Shame on you. So what's your rating? I give it two. I gave that one. I give that two because of the um the tone and the sound. 
But other than that, everything is just crappy. Two out of five for me. I guess tone it also is only the reason why it's two out of five for me because I'm really, I really think it's one out of five. Yeah. So two out of five equal square. All right. There you yeah. go. Okay. Well, as usual, uh, please, please, please subscribe to us, and uh, we're available on Instagram, Instagram. Geek by Heart. And uh, Twitter. Twitter. Geek by Heart. Geek by Heart. And we are Geek by Heart. Geek by Heart. So we will see you next time. I'm Jay. And I'm Lady. And we peace to the people. To the people peace. Yeah.